Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvendril and in this video we're going to upgrade the BIOS version of an HP ProDesk 600. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it looks. So this is the computer. Uh, it's a tower computer. It's from 2015. I know for sure it has never received a BIOS upgrade or any other upgrade for that matter. So as you can see here, it's kind of big. You can see my hand there. But of course, if you uh, are watching this video, most likely you have this model and know how it looks. The other, uh, another thing we're going to use, uh, we're going to need is a USB. It doesn't make the difference, two gigabytes, four, six, eight. I have a one of 16, that's the one I'm going to use, but the size doesn't make a difference. And we're also going to need the serial number. The serial number can be found most of the times around somewhere in the case. So it's a label that says the model uh, and the serial number, of course, and the MAC address and all that. Okay. So if you don't find it on your computer, you um, I'm going to show you how to uh, find it. Okay. In a few more minutes. So that's what we need. And this is my regular desktop computer. As you can see, the icons are a little bigger, so you can see it better. By the way, this is not the computer we are going to be upgrading the BIOS version. This is our, um, my personal computer. It's an uh, I built it myself. It's an ASUS, so that's not where that's not the physical computer where we are going to upgrade the BIOS. Okay, so we are going to boot a USB flash drive. So we don't care if it is Windows or it is Linux. That's a good part. All right. The next step is going to go to my channel, my IT workshop. Thank you very much, guys. A few days ago, three days ago, actually, we have the channel has reached 1000 subscribers. Thank you very much for the support. I love doing YouTube videos for you. Thank you very much. So if I scroll down, um, I have this video here. It's not mandatory for you to, to watch it, but every time I make a uh, BIOS upgrade, as you can see here, I have many. I always advise to watch this video that is called interrupting the BIOS update process on a computer. So this shows you what happens when the BIOS upgrade goes wrong. OK, so if you're interested in that, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. And the last thing, uh, one week ago, actually, I made in this video, reset the BIOS password for an HP ProDesk 600. That's the model we're going to upgrade the BIOS for. And if you're interested in that, uh, also, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So next, we have to go to the HP website. Every link I give you is going to be in the video description below. All right. So this is the HP website. Depending when you check this, there are going to be different pictures here. Now we go to support, software and drivers. We choose what we need support for. In this case, it's a desktop computer. And here is where you need to type the serial number that I mentioned a few seconds ago. All right, so you type it. Don't worry if you don't have it. We're in, I'm going to show you in a few more minutes how to find it. So you type it, you click submit, and you're going to see this. So HP customer support, software and drivers download. So this is the, the model. You see a small picture here. You scroll down and you can see here all the drivers for this model. You can see the graphics, the chipset, the audio, all that. All right. But we need the BIOS. So I click on it. This is the latest version. And this is the version 2.77. It's around 16 megabytes. So it's not that big. And this one came out in 2019, April 2019. So kind of a year ago. Right. So you just download it. As you can imagine, I already have it. It's it's here. That's the name. And we also need I, I have I have also created uh, this empty folder. I just call it HP. You can call it anything that you may like and don't double click on it. It doesn't have anything. But in a few seconds, it's going to be full with documents or files. OK, so I'm just going to double click on this guy on the update on the BIOS upgrade. Double click on it. Yes, and I'm going to bring it to this monitor. So this is how it looks. HP Business Desktop, System BIOS, version, and all that. All right. So you just click Next. You accept the licenses agreement. Next. And here is where we are going to change the folder. So this is the folder I have created. I OK. I just select OK. Next. And the folder is going to be full with files now, as you can see it here. You don't have to touch, to touch anything, but just for you to know, the real thing that we need is this one, the DOS flash. But I'm going to keep it this way so we, you, we don't mess with anything. So like I said, that's all we need 
from here. So the next thing is going to be, this is my, my well, my this PC, I have three hard drives, and this is the DOS boot, bootable USB. So I'm going to, I double click on it, and as you can see, um, I have these three files. So in order to have this bootable USB, um, you, you need to create it. So I'm not going to do, it, to do it in this video because I have done it many times and I just decided, hey, let's do a video to, for that. So if you go to my channel, and this is the video you need to see, how to create a bootable DOS USB, DOS USB drive, because we are not, going, like I said, we are not going to touch Windows, or, is, or if you have Linux, we don't care about that. So we're going to boot it from the USB itself. So this video is six minutes, as you can see here, it's very easy to create, it's not difficult at all. So you need to watch that, you need to create this bootable USB first. If you know how to do it, maybe you don't need to watch this, but if you don't, you have to watch it first, okay? Again, the video is going to be, in, the link is going to be in the video description below. So once you create the bootable USB, it's going to look like this. It's going to have these three files. You don't have to do anything with them. You don't touch them. You don't delete them. So that's what it needs. So the only thing left for us to do is copy paste the whole file. You just do that. And there, there you go. There we have it, the DOS boot, bootable USB. So I'm going to close it. I don't have anything else to do here. We're going to continue recording on the device itself. So we are going to see the BIOS upgrade process. OK, so I'll see you in a few seconds. Welcome back. So we are in front of the monitor connected to the desktop computer. And now I'm showing you the USB flash drive that we have created a few seconds ago, actually. So I'm going to connect it and I'm going to an available USB port and I'm going to turn on the computer. I'm going to start pressing escape to access the system menu. Don't forget escape. And there you go. So this is the startup menu. We're going to, we have to go to boot menu F9 to boot from the USB. But before, I want to show you the system information, right? So you can see all what we need. So you can see the product name, HP Prodesk 600G1SFF, manufactured Hewlett Parker, all that. If you go down, you can see chassis serial number. So that's the serial number you have to type in the HP website. And the BIOS version is Ver, uh, version 02.65 that came out in 2015. So that's very old. So we, we have a new version now, 2.77, which is in the USB. So I just wanted you, I just wanted you to see this, to find the, um, the serial number and to confirm that the BIOS version is old. So I press escape and I go to boot menu now, or you can press F9. You see this small menu, and you go to scan, uh, SanDisk, which is the brand of my USB bootable, bootable USB. <laughs> so you press enter, and if everything goes well, you have to see this screen. Okay, so this one uh, this one work for this model, this process, this bootable USB. But I know HP is very picky. For some other mo for many other models, this process doesn't work. But for this one, it worked just fine. All right. So once we are here, you have to type dir to list all the directory files that it has, and you can see the four. You can recognize all of them from the from a few minutes ago. So the one we are interested in, as you remember, is the HP folder. So I'm just going to type CDHP to access the folder, there, and it's going to show all the files that it has. As you remember, it had many. So we have to check the two in the bottom because they, they are folders. Well, the, the first one, actually, the DOS flash. So you type DOS flash and dir, well, cd dos flash dir, and you remember the file that I told you, I mentioned that we need is the BIOS flash.exe. So you type it because it's an executable file, it's the only one, and you press enter. So please wait a few uh, while dos flash identifies the device in your system. So please wait, please wait a few times. And now it tells us this. Caution, if you continue, your firmware will be uh, reprogrammed. Once the process has started, it cannot be interrupted. This process will take only a few seconds. Do not reboot or turn off your machine while the uh, reprogramming is in process. So now it's telling us what we have, which is uh, CPU version 2.0 and what we are going to have, which is version 2.77. The kind of it's a little different. I don't know why, but we know that we want to upgrade it to version 2.77. All right. 
So we just type Y, as you have seen, and the process starts. So right now it's a good moment for you to subscribe to the channel and upgrade the like button for this video. So after a few seconds, well, it took around, no, not seconds, it took around three minutes, something three minutes and a half, and we have seen this. Now, the system ROM has been successfully reprogrammed. Please reboot your system. All right, for the process to be complete. So I'm just going to turn it off. You, we don't have anything else to do here. So press the power button on your computer for a few seconds and then turn it on back again. So when you turn, uh, turn it on back, press escape so we can have access to the startup menu. Now we're going to go to system information one more time. I'll, I'll allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. And we have see we we can see the same information, but if you go to the bottom, almost to the bottom, it says Bio Firmware uh, version 2.77 that came out last year, April. All right, so April 17. So we know we have been uh, the process has been successful because we can see the new BIOS is there now. Okay, so from here I just want I just want you to see this. Uh, we don't have much to do here. I'm just pressing Escape and continue startup press enter but I forgot that the USB was still connected so it's still it's still booting from the USB so of, of course we don't want that so uh, again I'm going to shut down the computer I press the power button and turn it on again this time the USB is out I'm not pressing anything and you can see that Windows is starting this one has Windows 7 kind of old but as you can see Windows is starting if it, if it if it was Linux well you would see the Linux logo there so that's all I wanted to show you in this video, guys, how to upgrade the BIOS version for an, for an HP ProDesk 600. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.